Welcome everyone. My name is Sean Jones and I'm the CEO of the iNetropreneur Network. And today I have with me an incredible ind individual who is all about LinkedIn and how to leverage AI and still continue to build relationships along the way. I'm excited to interview Troy Hippolito. Troy, welcome. Thank you for having me. And I think you announced me better than I would. So <laughs> good job. <laughs> I try, I try. Troy, I love LinkedIn. LinkedIn is, you know, the place for business owners, entrepreneurs, C-suiters. But before we dive into your real passion of LinkedIn, share with us a little bit about who is Troy? Oh, my goodness. Well, I can tell you how I got where I'm going. So I'm a single father. I have a six-year-old. I was in the United States Army. And I have a software um, gamification background. So previously, I had an IT company called ISO Interactive. We did Coca-Cola, Xbox Mobile, a lot of Fortune 500 type of projects and a startups and things. And I'm, I'm in Atlanta. And it was going great until it wasn't. So just for everyone else out there, Atlanta is known for the tax breaks, especially for their Fortune 500 companies. And uh, what happened was we get all our work through the different agencies and where everyone's happy um, and they stopped that. They pulled the agencies apart and they pulled the people within the, the corporations, which meant that none of the agencies were getting work. So everyone's fighting over each other. And I had to figure out how to get work. You know, I had to figure out um, how do I communicate uh, on, on these things? So I ran into a friend of mine, a uh, colleague, he has a similar company and I was razzing him. I said, Hey, um, my work is much better than yours. Um, how are you getting all these projects? And I just wanted, he does great work, but I wanted to razz him a little bit. And he says, Oh man, uh, LinkedIn. And I said, what LinkedIn, this resume place he says, yeah, it's all relationship building. And I realized, um, because of my type a traits as a programmer, mm -hmm. um, I was a terrible dater. And a dater in real life, as well as business. So I was really good at formula. So I developed a formula on how to slow date on LinkedIn. And it worked so well, I started the Troy agency and start helping other people. <laughs> I love it. That's I the honest truth. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, so most people do not know how to old fashioned slow date on businesses. They just try to go for the marriage and picket fence and, and, you know, all, all those type of things right away. And, and that's the wrong approach because people don't know you, mm -hmm. you end up looking like you're crazy or annoying at the very least. <laughs> that's right. A little courtship goes a very long way. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you found that LinkedIn has, is, is a great place. But what makes it so great? I mean, because we have all these different platforms. You have Instagram, you have Facebook. Let's talk, you know, you have the, the whole TikTok thing. Mm. For some oh, yeah. people, LinkedIn is either scary and unknown, or it happens to be, I love it. It's the best place mm. ever. Share some insight. Why LinkedIn? Well, I always say never put all your eggs in one basket, although I put... 80% of my eggs on LinkedIn, you know? Uh, so it's always good to have another platform that's usable. So that's number one. Uh, but LinkedIn itself is extremely powerful. They have over 850 million members and 50% of them are active daily. So I don't ever believe in competition. There's so much out there, so many things you can help with. And there's three major areas where you can shine. And for some people, it's scary, and some people, it's exciting, like you said. Well, maybe you need to find your, 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 your zone of genius as far as LinkedIn is concerned. And one area is your networking. You know, um, you get on these group networking. Uh, people have podcasts and shows and interviews, uh, LinkedIn Lives, and then group type of Zooms and things like that, and then real-life networking. A lot of that is coming from LinkedIn. The other place is your content um developing content and a brand 
uh, and then using that to actually connect and communicate with people. And the third is direct communication, whether it's a DM or email. And it's not just those elements, it's how you're communicating, you know. So LinkedIn is not a sales platform. It is a true social networking platform. Mm -hmm. So the people who do well, they are thinking, how can I provide what they see what value is? It's not what I see as value. Mm -hmm. It's what my audience sees as valuable. So valuable is not me selling my stuff to you. <laughs> it's, it's not valuable, you know? Uh, so when someone reaches out to me, I don't talk about products or services. I only have one goal. And my, my immediate goal is to lessen their pain, solve their problem if possible, or lessen their pain. So I got a lot of 15 minute chats saying, I got this problem. Mm -hmm. Well, if it's within my wheelhouse, great. I'll tell you how to fix it. But if I don't, I have partners. Sometimes they have an email deliverability issue. That's why you have a partner and you hand that off to that person. Like, you know what? I have an email person that can really fix that problem. I understand the problem is, but that's not my field of expertise. But they're kind of ancillary type businesses in there. And if I can solve the problem or lessen their pain, there's one of three things that's going to happen. In 15 minutes, you put out good energy in the universe. You help them. You feel good. They feel good. You move on. Uh, the second thing is they look back and they do what you say. They solve that issue. And then they look to the left and look to the right and they're serious about their business. And they're like, well, I don't want to do this. I'm gonna hire Troy to do it. And they will come to you and they will hire you. Uh, the third thing is that you could pull, pull their ticket. You can say, hey, did this help you out? They said, yeah, well, send me a recommendation or connect me to someone that actually could use the services. 50% uh, of all businesses are based on recommendations. So you can have all the systems in the world, but if you don't have the mindset on helping other people, you're losing out on at least half of your business. That is true. Um, it's like the old adage, pay it forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, even if I was not a nice person, I, I would still help people because it's just good business, you know? <laughs> so. Yes. Uh, and, and that's incredible. And so you work with clients now, do you work with uh, smaller companies like the solopreneur? Do you prefer to work with large corporations? Where's your oh, sweet spot? That's a good question. Um, no, I, I keep it small. I only want to have um, one or two new clients a month um, because taking a full client, you know, I have a couple of different things going on, but if I have a full client that needs help, for mm -hmm. to create a done for you type service um, it takes a while and so i want to select the type of client that i can make a major impact on and then i could see that they will have success so i'm not for everyone you mm -hmm. know um there's a lot of people that just want to sell or something that's that's a different type of person um and they don't really want to build that relationship uh for long terms so i'm not really working with the people in short term, but kind of long term. Now, the type of person uh, ranges between a solopreneur, because I'm a solopreneur, although I have a lot of people that work for me, um, I don't have any technical employees. So I have systems and processes. I have a statement, uh, um, SOPs, service operating procedures. I train people. I have uh, all these different programmical systems, and then I have business training. And so I combine that. So entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, uh, companies typically under 50 employees. Uh, anything above that, you run into a lot of red tape, you know, and they may have processes and systems that they can't change, mm -hmm. you know. So my thing is that how can I affect your bottom line uh, in a very efficient manner? And then how can I represent you or have you represent yourself in a very authentic manner, manner in order to convert? And let's, let's be honest, we're here to help people, but at the end of the day, we need to pay the light bill. You know, we need to, to make X amount per month. So how do we balance that? And a lot of it is a combination of certain systems and day-to-day -day processes. Uh, for example, how do I get the client to make the most impact with the least amount of time? Because at the end of the day, um, 
this client has a business to run. So they can't monkey around on LinkedIn all day, you know? Mm -hmm. So my job is to reduce their time and uh, maximize the conversions. And most of the times it's really talk about, it's talking about booking the right meetings for that individual through various means, so. That's exciting. Now, it sounds like you not you will teach your clients everything they need to know in order to sustain themselves, but then you can also, in place, if you have someone that doesn't want to do all that, that stuff, you can step in and do that for them. Is that correct? That is. A majority of the things is what we call a done for you slash with you, mm -hmm. and that is a, a larger service where we hold your hand. And so... Uh, what we do is we talk about business strategies, uh, why you're doing it, how how is your brand affected, you know, how you can make an impact, how you can communicate, and then we build those systems together. So, um, or like you said, we can go through training to train them to do that. But to be honest, um, in order to do it well, uh, you don't want, um, how do you say, it? it's not a one man show. Mm -hmm. And it's very difficult for do that. So usually other LinkedIn uh, advisors will help you understand some of those elements and stuff. And they'll just say, hey, work with Troy and Troy will excel you. Um, so I can do either one. But my major service is really done for you slash with you. Now, we also have things that we're doing right now. It's pretty exciting. We have something called the, uh, the Now Society. And we said, you know, how do we help people? that don't really have a budget. Mm -hmm. I said, you know what? I have about $1,500 worth of uh, worth of courses. I said, let me repurpose that first and give it for like 39 bucks or something, you know? And then give a private area where people can ask questions or really get them where they need to go. Um, because I figure that's a lot cheaper than paying me 350 an hour for, for a conversation. And so we wanna make the most impact with people regardless of what money is coming in and we want to work with the right people just to see that they are becoming successful. Mm -hmm. That's great. Troy, if somebody would like to reach out and find out more about your services and, and book a consult with you, how can they contact you? Oh, that is easy peasy. Um, on my LinkedIn profile, if you just look, look at my first name and last name, Troy, last name's Hippolito, H-I-P-O-L-I-T-O. -I -I look me up on LinkedIn. I have a booking link right there. You want to have a conversation? Go for it. Great. Troy, I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to be here and give us some insight as to why LinkedIn is the, the tool to use and how you can help businesses like mine and, and yours and others grow and still connect and make relationships. Yeah, of course. There's so much you can do on LinkedIn. Uh, I always... I always sit back and I say, well, what is it that you do and why do you do it and where do you want to go? So forget the systems and all this. Other. I got some great systems that are super unique that only we have that have major conversion. But I don't even want to talk about it. I want to talk about how do you provide value to other people? And then once we understand how do we reach out to those individuals you know, whether it's this form or that form and get the best conversion out of that. Because at the end of the day, if if you're helping people and you're getting paid, it, it's a good day. You know, uh, some of those start with a day to day process. So on most of our clients, we give them a day to day process. And they say, Troy, I don't have all this time in the world, but I'm going to spend time to get this process started. And uh, I said, great. How much time do you have? You have one hour a day. OK, great. Let's figure out on that hour what impact you need and then how can I train the assistant to do some of these other things. And the most impact are usually something that's personalized. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I did a post um, just about one of those tips. So I have a sheet that has a ton of those, um, but let's give an example. Um, say I need to convert to vetted meetings pretty quickly. And... Uh, one way to do that and personalization is to use your LinkedIn app. So if someone connects with me and I think it's worth a conversation, I'll do a personalized video on the LinkedIn app, about 35 seconds long. And I wanna talk about them. Uh, I want to see if there's any dots to connect. I ask them just to take a look at my profile if they have time, only if they have time. 
-hmm. And if they see anything they like, you know, feel free to send me their booking link. So I put the onus on them. I said, always open for a conversation. I get between a 15 and 20% conversion right off the connection. So you got to think if I'm getting 20 connections a day coming in, um, well, if that's 20%, I'm getting four meetings a day just for doing videos, you know, um, and then a lot of clients won't do it. And we have a system and services that will help them do that, you know, but okay. there's, yeah. So creating a day-to-day -day process and knowing uh, what happens and how I can, how I can engage is very important. It is. Well, again, Troy, thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to be here today and sharing what you do for businesses like mine. Awesome. Thank you for having me. For those of you who have just watched, I interviewed Troy Hippolito. He is the LinkedIn expert helping businesses across the world combine LinkedIn AI with building relationships. He's also an upcoming speaker at the Art of Connection Global Summit happening on February 23rd, where you can find more about Troy. He's going to be hosting uh, several private workshops, giving you a, lots of golden nuggets. To get your ticket and to join Troy at the Art of Connection, go to artofconnectionsummit.com.